We do service at ASD so we can help people in need. We do, we do service projects to make ASD a better place. We do service at ASD to help bring people around the world together. We might be happy right now, but other people might not be happy, so we should help them out. I think service is good because I really like helping other people and the ones that are unfortunate and are, are not allowed, well, they can't come to the school. I want to help them be able to have what I have. We do service in ASD to help find friendship. We do service in ASD to help people around the world. Hi, I'm Jenna with Shada de Cruz and I'm in ninth grade. Um, I, in eighth grade, I applied for the Global Citizenship Award Fund to go to the Gen Conference in Jakarta. And to do this, uh, this was to pay for my accommodation, my flight there, and for a lot more stuff to get there. It was a very incredible experience because there was lots of students there that helped inspire other students and what to do with their schools. One speaker that spoke there was the Zach Bonner from the Little Red Wagon Foundation and he taught us that kids don't always need money to be raised for them. Sometimes they just need basic needs such as clothes and bags and shoes which that's what I took home and then I did the Jordan Outreach Project trying to get clothes and shoes and bags for kids in Jordan for their Syrian refugees. So these kids got the clothes and they looked really happy with them, that's what they needed. And this conference really helped me realize that we don't always need money to buy us happiness and everything. We sometimes just need our basic needs and we'll probably just be happy with that. Hi, my name is Tope and I'm a senior. I'm currently involved in the ESL club, that's English as a Second Language. And what we do is basically we teach the HAL workers English every Tuesday from 12.30 to 1.30. And last year, the club submitted a fund request for the, from the Global Citizenship Fund. And we basically requested money so that we would have an opportunity to buy more resources, to give them small gifts during our classes, to throw parties for them, and just do little things like that and kind of take our club to the next level. And so we were able to submit our request and we received money. Um, and I really like the fact that we didn't have to go through the process of fundraising for the money. It would have taken a long time and it would, it would have um, oriented our efforts towards fundraising rather than teaching. And because we had these resources already, we were able to take a lot more time to plan what we wanted to do and to kind of organize our club. I think uh, in the past year our club has really, it's really grown a lot. We have a lot more workers coming consistently and that's good. Um, they used to show up every so often and not come, but I think now that we're um, able to dedicate more energy and attention towards them, they're actually picking up English a lot better. And we have a lot more ASD students joining the club as well, so that's good. We have a lot more one-on-one -on -one focus and I think um, the students enjoy it and the HAL workers enjoy it as well. Hi, my name is Aya Thani and I'm in ninth grade. Um, and I'm going to talk about the experience that I had planning a How Fun Day last year. Um, I did this last year for a service class, which I'm very glad we had because it actually changed me a lot to be able to do something like this. And I applied for a fund um, to sort of conduct a sort of ceremony, appreciation ceremony for all the How workers because they work so, so hard. They're the reason that our school is absolutely amazing and we thought they didn't hear it enough. Um, so when we applied, we sort of wrote a short essay about what you know we wanted to do, me and my friends Razan and Heather, um, about what we wanted to do, just a few paragraphs and what we wanted to do with the money, what we were going to use the money for, and how much money we wanted. Um, we were really nervous about applying because we'd never done anything like that before, and we got a lot of help from our teachers, and we ran it by a bunch of people, and finally when we thought it was really good, uh, we turned it in, and we heard back really, really quickly saying, yeah. Um, I noticed something that it, I felt like I made much more of a difference when I actually went in and did everything myself instead of just fundraising and donating money like I felt a lot better about it that I went in and I did it I did something I set up the gym I set up the field I planned it I 
applied for the money that I actually did. I went in and did it myself. I didn't just say, oh, look, here's some money. I'm going to put it in an envelope, send it to someone, let them send it to an orphanage. It, it felt much better. I felt like it was really hands-on. It was my thing. It was mine. I did it. Hello, we're the writers and illustrators of the book Respect. Hi, I'm Isabel Montiel, and I'm one of the illustrators. Hi, I'm Sahaj Panag. I'm one of the writers. Hi, I'm Veronica Lemos, and I'm one of the illustrators. I'm Valeria Gutierrez, and I was one of the illustrators. I am Andreas Van Acker, and I was one of the writers. We are all seventh grade students. When we finished the book, the great thing was that we applied for the Global Citizen Citizenship Fund, and that's how we got our book published. When we, got a, when we got our book published, all the money raised from selling the book went to charity via the Sheikh Faisal Without Borders Foundation. And if you're still interested, you can get the book in any of the American School of Doha's offices for only 50 reals. If you have a great idea to help people who are in need, you can just apply for, for the Global Citizen Fund and they will help you get started. The Global Citizenship Fund gives you money so you can start up good causes. So if you want to start an event or get supplies, just apply. So just apply and they will help you. It's your turn to make a difference.